Back in the days when I was a teenager, before I had status and before I had a pager, I was listening to A Tribe Called Quest, specifically 1991's classic, The Low End Theory, one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. But today, I'm so excited to be talking to you about November 2016's Album of the Month. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. And right off the bat, I just want to say, Tribe Called Quest, thank you for your service. What a beautiful swan song of an album that doubles as a loving tribute to Fife Dog, who passed away tragically earlier this year, gone way too soon. And it's just so crazy because I wasn't expecting a Tribe Called Quest album, let alone something that Fife was involved in. And it's just amazing because the, the album is so timely and socially conscious politically charged, especially on songs like We The People, my personal favorite track from the album with that hard-hitting beat and the bass line, doom, 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 and Q-Tip, his rhymes are just incredible as always, he's just spot on, and Fife is right on point with him. And then you got Jerobi stepping up to the plate, uh, doing a great job um, on you know, stuff that he'd never done before, and of course, Ali Shaheed Muhammad doing the stuff that he does best behind the scenes. And then you got all these guest appearances um, all over the place from uh, familiar faces like Busta Rhymes and Consequence to current day Kendrick Lamar and uh, even stuff that you wouldn't expect like Jack White, Elton John, um, and then stuff that works uh, to good effect like Andre 3000, uh, which it's great to see him back on an album. So it's just a, a little bit of everything, and it is a double album that it, it feels a little bloated, but it's warranted because it's been 18 years since their last album. So it, it makes sense, even though I would personally like to chop out a, a couple of the songs in the middle of the album. Um, it's just, it's really solid from start to finish, starting with the Space Program, which is a great song, again, very uh, socially conscious, and um, it's just the biting social commentary that A Tribe Called Quest always has, that little bit of sarcasm, but um, they, they're really, you can tell they're kind of elder statesmen at this point. It's, they're a little more serious than they used to be. Back in the day, they were a little more playful, a little more uh, about the girls and about uh, just everyday life. Here, it's about everyday life and, uh, hey, what are we doing? Uh, and what are we going to pass on to the next generation? Like in songs like This Generation, which is another great one. Uh, very cool guitar riff in that song. Then you got songs like Kids, where again, they're talking to this young generation saying, you know, hey, uh, watch out. And, and then give it, uh, again, Q-Tip, giving some words of wisdom on Ego, which is a great song that uh, kind of reminds me of What from uh, The Low End Theory, a little bit of a playful tune that you never really know where it's going to go musically, uh, which is really cool. I love how they kind of jump around with genres. And although I missed a little bit of that jazzy vibe that they incorporated so well into their early albums through Midnight Marauders, um, I do love also the contemporary feel. It's like they didn't miss a beat all these years and they're just up here with their contemporaries. Even Kanye West makes an appearance on the album, which I could have taken or left that one. Uh, I don't think it worked that well. Um, but then, you know, guest appearances like Anderson Pock worked very well on songs like Moving Backwards, again, another socially conscious song. Um, and then you got, uh, of course, the, the closing track, The Donald, which is not about Don Donald Trump, thank God. It is about Five Dog, which is uh, his real name, Donald. So um, it's, just, um, it's just a joy to listen to. I think it's definitely the best hip-hop album of the year. Um, and in a year where there was another comeback album from De La Soul, which was another uh, great comeback and another good hip-hop record, um, kind of showing that the, uh, the old guard has still got it, you know? And uh, it's just great to see that. Um, I just, I thoroughly enjoyed this, and I'm sad that it is their 
their final album, obviously, but, um, you know, hey, you never know, Q-Tip, he still does other things on the side, like projects with the Black Keys, known as Black Rock. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be doing other things and maybe making a guest appearance on a Jack White album. You never know since he uh, offered some guitar on here. And uh, it's just, um, I, I love it. I love that this came out this year. It's definitely going to be on my top 10 albums of the year. I give this a strong 7.5 out of 10. And before you crucify me, just know that my grading system is not exactly like everyone else's. I don't just hand out eights and nines and tens. It, it's got to be a, a true classic that stands the test of time. And although this is uh, truly, truly a very good album, it's not quite up there with um, their, their classic work for me. But again, I'll take this over so many other things that came out or happened this year. Thank you so much, Tribe Called Quest for finishing this record. Um, it is just masterfully produced and uh, so many great songs throughout. Again, I'll cut the running time a little shorter by probably chopping out just a couple songs in the middle, but um, just a joy to listen to. Thank you again. Hey everybody, what did you think of this album? I know I'm probably the hundredth person to review it, so uh, let me know what you think. Give me a like, subscribe, check out. I've got so much more uh, stuff coming up, some good Heart of an Artist podcast coming soon, and uh, some, some great uh, classic album re reviews. So uh, thanks for watching. Viva La Vinyl, and I will see you guys soon.